Dad, this place is awesome. May I go for a walk and explore the area? I love the trees and the foliage. Yeah. Of course, JC. The natural beauty of this place is what brought us here in the first place. Thanks, Dad. I'll be back soon. Yes. Make sure you are back before dusk. Though there are no wild animals here, the jungle gets pitch dark at night. I wonder which way should I go? Maybe I should ask this tree. Hi, I'm JC. I'm from the city on a holiday here with my family. Hi, JC. How can I help you? I was wondering what to explore in this jungle. I love trees and jungles. So do I. I love humans too. Humans? This place seems to be so lonely. This was a bustling city once. Those rocks to my right are the remains of the dwelling of an ancient king. If you go a little further, you'll find a cannon belonging to that era. I think I'll go have a chat with the cannon to find out more about this ancient kingdom. The cannon may sound threatening, but he's very helpful. All the best, JC. Hello, Mr. Cannon. Who dare disturb my nap? Sorry to disturb you, Mr. Cannon. I'm JC. I'm new to this jungle. Jungle? What jungle? This used to be the outer court of the king's palace. King's palace? Even though there are trees everywhere now, it is still the king's palace for me. I am on guard and in charge of keeping out invaders. I am not an invader, just a city dweller on a holiday. You must be interested in finding out about the great king who ruled this place. Yes, can you tell me? Yes, I can tell you. However, you might enjoy it better if you could actually see what happened in the era of King Dante Durga. How can I do that? I can't go back into the past. There's a Guruji in a cave further down this path. He has magical powers and will gladly take you on a trip to the past. Sounds exciting. I can't wait to meet him. May I go there now? Sure. Have a safe trip. Make sure you follow his instructions strictly. I will. Bye. Welcome, JC. Do you want to go on a trip to the past? Uh, yes, Guruji. But how did you know that? Please sit down on the carpet. Close your eyes and then follow my instructions. I will. How do I get back once I'm done? Just think about me and you will be back. One word of caution. If you are hungry, get back here. Don't eat anything there or you may get stuck in the past. Okay, Guruji. Now focus on the bridge of your nose between the eyes. Imagine you are entering a tunnel. This is so cool. Where am I? It is time we overthrow the Chalukyas and become kings ourselves. They treat Savantas like dirt. Wow, this is history in the making. Perhaps I can go and check with Dante Durga himself. Hello, Chief. I'm JC from the 21st century. Can you explain as to what's happening here? Besides, why should we be forced to give such huge gifts to the rulers? Ugh, it appears as though I'm invisible and inaudible to everyone here. Let me look around for some object to tell me what's going on. Aha! Maybe the statue of this tiger can give me some information. Oh, tiger, I'm JC, a visitor from the 21st century. I wonder why this tiger is chasing me. Let me try conversing with him. Mr. Tiger, please don't eat me. I am from the 21st century, the information age. Can we be friends? 
I am fat, a tame tiger, and I don't eat people. I was just playing. Of course we can be friends. Whew. That's a relief. How can I help you? Actually, I was looking for someone who could tell me what is happening here. Can you do that? What you saw out there is a gathering of some Samantas under the leadership of Tanti Durg, who is a Mahasamant or a Mahamandaleshwara. The title Mahasamanta is endowed on someone who has great power and wealth. Is Danti Durga the king of this place? Though Danti Durga is the ruler of his territory, he is still not the king. Danti Durga and his fellow rulers are in the process of asserting their independence from the Chalukya dynasty. Do you know, JC? Danti Durga is a non-Kshatriya. I recall reading somewhere that a few non-Kshatriyas became kings in the seventh century. Was Danti Durga one such king? Yes. However, he acquired recognition as a Kshatriya by performing the Hiranya Garb ritual. Are there any other kings who performed Hiranya Garb? Hiranya Garb means the golden womb. This ritual is performed to lead to the rebirth of the sacrificer as a Kshatri. Are there any other kings who performed Hiranya Garb? Kings like the Kadamba Mayurashraman who established his kingdom in Karnatak and Gurjara Parathara Harichandra who became the king in Rajasthan performed Hiranya Garb. This is getting very interesting. However, I have to say goodbye to you now as I want to know more about Danti Durga's rule as a king. Bye and drop by sometime in the past. <laughs> I'll see you in my history textbooks. It's going to be interesting to see what Danti Durga and his palace looks like after he becomes a king. There he is. He really looks majestic. I wonder who will be able to help me understand what's happening here. Aha! I think this coin might do the trick. Let's get the coin to talk. Hi, I'm JC, a tourist from the 21st century. Can you give me some information about the period when King Danti Durga ruled? I am Miss Connolly. What would you like to know? Can you tell me something about King Danti Durga? He has now set up the Rashtrakuta dynasty and is known as Maharaj Adhiraj or Tribhuvan Chakravartin. What do you mean by Maharaj Adhiraj and Tribhuvan Chakravartin? Maharaj Adhiraj means great king or overlord of kings and Tribhuvan Chakravartin means lord of the three worlds. How did kings carry out their administration? Kings delegated authority of certain territories to their subordinates or sambanthas, associations of peasants, traders and of course the Brahmins. Why the Brahmins? They wrote prashastis for which they were rewarded with land grants. Look at that pamphlet held by that Brahmin. Prashastis contain details on how rulers wanted to depict themselves as valiant and victorious warriors. Many rulers describe their achievements in prashastis. Where does the king receive so much money to give away grants and rewards? From peasants, cattle keepers and artisans who are often persuaded or compelled to surrender part of what they produce. Don't they resent this? Not really. Since the king is accepted as the owner of his kingdom, his subjects accept his right to claim the resources as rent. I remember reading that the Cholas of Tamil Nadu levied more than 400 different kinds of taxes. Does Danti Durga also levy so many taxes? Yes, he does. What does he do with all that money? These resources are used to finance the king's establishment as well as for the construction of temples and forts. They are also used to fight wars. This is also interesting. However, I'm feeling hungry now. I've got to go. It must be time for dinner back home. Why don't you try one of the fruits in the king's fruit tray? Ugh, the Guruji told me not to or I may get stuck in this era. 
Thank you for all the information, Miss Conley. You are welcome. I think I've been away for more than an hour. I hope my folks are not out there looking for me. Welcome, JC. Did you enjoy the trip? Yes, Guruji. However, I have to rush back home because it must be dinner time and my parents might be worried. <laughs> Goodbye son. However, be ready for a surprise when you see your folks. Bye Guruji and thanks for the trip. Any time son. Hi dad, did you miss me? Of course not JC. It's not even been 15 minutes since you were away. 15 minutes? But I have been away for more than an hour. Perhaps the Guruji did some magic. This must be the surprise he was referring to. What an adventure!